Welcome in friends. Today we're going to be reacting to the official release date trailers for AFK Journey. Uh, one of the games that I've been looking very forward to when it was coming out. I did get to have the uh, honor of trying out the beta and giving you guys some content and everything on that. But I am really excited for whenever the game comes out because I am going to be playing it on a daily basis and we will be having some daily content as well. If you guys are from my reverse 1999 community, I appreciate you stopping by and checking out this video along with the free to play series that we are doing for reverse 1999. I do plan on doing that for a couple of uh, different gotcha games because I've enjoyed the concept of it. And I think it brings a lot of insight on a day to day grind of games, whereas we have a lot of other creators that do an amazing job on like build videos or character overviews and stuff like that, which I enjoy to do as well and I will continue to do. But I feel like the free to play journey is something that um, I've looked for in the past whenever I started playing gotcha games and stuff like that a long time ago. And I just didn't find that content. Uh, so I was excited to try it out and I'm glad you guys are enjoying it. Anyways, let's dive right into this instead of just looking at my face this whole time. This is the AFK Journey official release date trailer. So we'll go ahead and let it play and we'll pause it so we don't have interruptions of like volume and stuff like that. I do want to say one thing. This game has phenomenal visual storytelling in it. Um, there's a lot of games that they just lack on story when it comes to gotcha games, which is respective. I mean, a lot of times they go directly into gameplay or directly into like character development and kind of like the visualization of how a story is being told or like the world and lore and land is being portrayed. It gets kind of pushed to like the second tier which is okay in some games because some games just have this like high caliber, high tier gameplay and it's understandable. But when a game can mesh uh, all of these things together, it just makes for a beautiful story. It makes for a beautiful game and an enjoyable experience whenever you're getting to log in every day. So I, I really appreciate that from them. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, my man stole his balloon. <laughs> the Graveborn, bro. Good lord, that was a huge sword. Yeah, this is phenomenal. This this little visual experience that we're getting right now is so cool. March 27th, guys. Get ready for it. Yeah, that was awesome. <laughs> yes sir let's get ready for it all right that was the first one and they had another little uh teaser right here i haven't watched either of those yet so that was that was my first uh, experience with that i think this one's going to be a little bit more uh vocal with lore and everything so uh yeah we'll go ahead and get that out of the way Bro, this man was on the quest for the Master Sword, and they didn't let Link join the journey. Ah, they dropped the ball on that one. God, what? Yeah, another thing about storytelling is whenever I was playing the beta, every single character felt like they had depth. 
at least the ones that we interacted with in the beta, every single one felt like they had depth to them. Like it, you weren't just, you know, traveling through this world, a dull world. Like they, uh, they market it as an ethereal RPG, which 100% I agree with. Like just the atmosphere and everything, it just feels like a true fantasy. Like you're just in this world, like you're watching Lord of the Rings or playing through Lord of the Rings or Wheel of Time or, or Game of Thrones or any of these kind of styles that have like a mysticism to it and a, and a depth of story and character development. It, it, it felt fun. Um, and it was exciting because the game... It, it re these games they respect your time it's not a hardcore um you know game it does have leaderboards but obviously leaderboards in games like this they're they're kind of put for the whales like they're there for the whales to entice them to get into the game and to to spend a little bit at the beginning and to continuously spend and everything like that but i promise you this game is also very respectful for free to play players because the reward difference is not uh, astronomically huge for being a whale. And especially if you make the right decisions, also you can get lucky in your gotcha, which during the beta, they were very you know generous for like gotcha pulls and stuff like that. So we'll see if it carries into the real game. I don't know if you guys watched the last video that I had put out, but they put out this banner where every single day of the month they were giving a free character away. So basically you were accumulating every character in the roster. And if you've watched anything on this game, then you know you don't have to level up every single character individually. Their main benefits is going to be for tiering them up, like uh, getting them up in different tiers by getting dupes of them. But you can use any character in the game because of the resonant system. Uh, if you haven't checked that out already, go check out one of the videos, uh, pretty much any of them before this, uh, and you'll see the resonance system on what I'm talking about. That man's the goat. Man, such great art. There goes the summonings. And this song is going hard. Yo, that's a dope ass rope. I would 100% rock that at the Renaissance Festival. Oh, my bad. Oh, wow, man, that's pretty cool. Anyways, guys, thank y'all so much for stopping by. I hope you guys are excited about AFK Journey as much as I am. I, I played a ton of AFK Arena, so for them to like bring all the characters back and everything that I already loved inside of a game and give us a whole new game experience is pretty wild. I, it's, it's awesome. I'm excited for it. And... Uh, if y'all haven't already, obviously on the screen right here, let's go ahead and take a look. You can pre-register already March 27th. We are three days away from launch. You get a bunch of cool little rewards and everything whenever you pre-register. So go do that now if y'all haven't already. I will leave a link down below in this video as well. So that way y'all can do that. So check that out. If you haven't already, if you're here for Reverse 99 or AFK Journey, hit that subscribe button. We're going to be covering both and we're going to be covering more. So stay tuned and I'll see y'all in the next video.